Happy Friday, folks, friends, and fellow bloggers. I am so excited to have you here for Mr. Thomas and Me's first vlog. Um, a little bit nervous, but mostly excited. If this is something that is met with wild applause and many requests for autographs, it is definitely a possibility to do more. Um, if it's awkward and uncomfortable for all of you, it probably is for me and probably won't be something back. Um, you always got to try something once, right? I just want to do a little shout out to my dear friend Ashton over at Always Ashton who is hosting a vlog like a boss link up today. Um, in the spirit of the Say Yes project, I am vlogging like a hoss and then linking up because I am not yet a boss. Um, in fact, I believe that Ashton is sort of a, a vlogging mafia ringleader, boss lady, and so I came up with a little vlog um, nickname for her. Uh, so I will now be referring to her as always Vlog Hawk Ashton, and I am um, happy to allow you to use the name. Um, unless you come up with a better one, submit it in the comments right down there, um, and we will go ahead and use your name. Um, just, you know, new and improved, the Always Ashton words, um, or the Always Ashton title. So I've always fashioned myself as more of a writer and less of a movie star. Um, but I do believe when you try something new, you should always make your best impression. And I am doing so in my favorite flannel pajama set. Um, yes, these are wiener dogs on my shirt. Um, I also have them on my pants. I do believe that they bring out my eyes beautifully, and, um, you know, wiener dogs always flatter my figure, even on bloated days. I just always look good in them. Um, I do live in Southern California, so it is a little bit absurd, probably, to you for me to be wearing flannel pajamas at night, but um, it does drop below the accepted freezing point of 32 degrees um, many nights in our winters, and so I wear them. It's my one way of combating hypothermia, I guess. Um, I have got a couple, you know, trend reports um, from Versace and Michael Kors saying that uh, Wiener Dog is actually the new leopard print for the season. So, Wiener Dogs don't fail. You're going to look super trendy. Go for it. Um, speaking of Wiener Dogs, I had a friend in college who was outrageously hilarious. And um, while we were sitting, uh, having lunch one day in the quad, we were eating Rubio's like all the UCSD um, cool kids did. A girl walked by with a wiener dog, and he leaped out of his seat and threw his hands in the air and said, Can I pet your wiener? And um, turns out she was very flattered and said, Why, yes, this is my wiener dog. Uh, her name is Carmel, and she's very sweet and loves people. Um, after several pets, he said something along the lines of, If your dear Carmel ever turns up missing, it wasn't me. And then he walks away. I just stood there awkwardly and said, have a nice day. Um, I proceeded to class where Carmel and her sweet owner ended up sitting next to me the entire hour and a half. Uh, yeah, awkward? Hashtag awkward? Um, anyway, let's talk about turn up. Not turn up, but turn up. What is the turn up deal? Um, I watch Bad Girls Club and they keep saying it when they're going to go to the club. Like, let's turn up. Um, when I was in college, clubbing things were like, let's hit the dance floor, let's go get down, or cabs are here. Uh, there was nothing about turning up. So um, I do feel kind of like an old lady. Uh, the I tried to, you know, find some kind of definition of it, and all that I could come up with in my pea-sized brain was that it's the opposite um, of, you know, when you're staying in a hotel and they turn down your sheets and they put a mint on the pillow, um, yeah, so you're not going to bed, so you're turning up, not down. Um, otherwise, it might have something to do with my hearing aids that are coming in later this week to turn up the volume on life. Um, let me just take a sip of my tea. My old age is just, my voice is going. Um, I do have to check and make sure that Golden Girls was recording on my DVR. Um, and then I'll come back, check the comments, and make sure that uh, the definition of turnip has somehow magically appeared. Speaking of definitions and dictionaries, uh, Jason and I have come up with this new little evening entertainment thing that we think um, we should share with our readers. No sexual innuendo intended here. Um, not yet, at least. Um, it's a little early in the vlogging 
atmosphere around here to try and do things like that. Uh, but we have downloaded Urban Dictionary on both of our phones, and we uh, will try and sort of like quiz each other or, um, you know, see whose ability to decipher meaning is better. So we'll pick the word of the day or a word of the day, and we will read it, and then the other one has to try and figure out uh, what exactly that means um, after being used in a sentence. For example, one this week was niplash, which is a noun, and it's whiplash of the nipple or nipples, and it is extreme soreness of the nipple or nipples from seatbelt or clothing malfunction. I happened to run a half marathon on Sunday of last week, or six days ago, five days ago, and um, there was some seriously severe niplash going down. Men were bleeding. Men or women who date men who run that are watching this, um, please know when you are going to run 13 miles or any distance longer than that, your shirt is going to rub on your nipples and cause them to bleed. Um, while I believe that nip lash probably hurts upon immediate damage, I can only imagine what it feels like the next morning um, when, like, you know, there's some scab and when you have to put on your construction vest or your business suit or um, anything really that is going to rub on them. Um, that is our new evening entertainment, um, a little sample of taste for you. Uh, it all obviously goes better with wine or a stiff drink in my husband's um, case. Um, something that we have decided is impossible is for you to not Urban Dictionary drop in all conversations. Um, you will Urban Dictionary do drop after practicing this um, or perfecting, probably is a better word, this game. Um, Jason and I have both caught ourselves doing it throughout the course of the week. Uh, we believe it's actually just as impossible as saying Ross Swiss without a smile. Um, that is the end of Mr. Thomas and Me's first blog, and we are so thankful that you stuck out seven and a half minutes with us. Um, have a wonderful Disconnected from the internet weekend, uh, we are going to. We're celebrating several 21st birthdays around these parts. Um, not either of ours, but several. Um, thanks. Thanks for being here. Thanks for reading. Thanks for enjoying us. Um, and have a great rest of your Friday and an even more awesome weekend.